difficult nights for a retired Dallas woman who could not afford to fix her gas leak. She called our tip line here at CBS 11 and within 24 hours help was on the way. In fact, it's still being repaired while this newscast rolls on. Dora Gaines was gasless and cold. Her gas was shut off in June when her utility company found leaks on her side of the line. When there's a leak on the customer's side of the line, it's not at Miss Energy's side of the line. So there's very little that we can do with that. If it's a leak on our side, we can come out and fix it immediately. The 60-year-old retiree who was battling stage 4 cancer could not afford a plumber and no groups came forward to help. I have been trying so many different organizations and I was getting turned down. So she called us at CBS 11. I just couldn't believe it that I finally was hearing somebody that was going to help me. We called Atmos, who jumped into gear. We were able to actually tap into our Keeping the Warmth program at Atmos Energy. Our Keeping the Warmth program allocates money each year. We help about 1,600 people a year by allocating some funds so that we can come in and weatherize for home. Using funds from their weatherization program, Atmos contacted Dallas County Health and Human Services to start the repairs. But then I got the call and said they was going to be out here this morning at 8 o'clock. And I got on my knees and I prayed and I thank God. Crews got to work today and found the problem was more extensive than they thought. They found out that there was more leaks going on, so we're basically going to be doing a, uh, a complete gas line uh, repipe mm -hmm. and, uh, and a new um, water heater install. Repairs valued at $2,500 to $5,000. It's not a program where you can fix everyone's gas line. It's best if someone has a problem to contact a social service agency, contact 211 to see if they're eligible. One of the things is based on low income, but there are other variables. So no more cold nights for Dora Gaines of Dallas. Thanks to free help from Atmos and the kindness of people who care. I'm happy. I'm too happy. But I'm the person that I cry very easily, so if I cry, it's cry with joy. No, because I think I just thought I wasn't going to get any help. So glad that she did. To see if you qualify for energy assistance dollars, remember call 211. That's what Zachary Thompson was just saying in that piece. I'll locate a local provider in your area. This story came into us on our tip line. If you know of a story you think we should look into or we can help you with, call us 817 586 7411 or email us at newstips at ktvt.com. So there she is. She's got a, I know she's yeah. talking about how she has a tumor on her shoulder, can't move, and it's so tough for her. And there's a yeah. lot of folks out there who are disabled and can't get the heat they need tonight and it is going to be really cool.